We have a farmer that has about 50 acres that needs sprayed. Are you looking at my face? Like this is how serious I am. Flying off the top of that trailer is absolutely the way you should be operating your drone spray business. If you're not doing that, you're doing it wrong. I'm telling you that right now. That is impressive. Okay, how's it going folks? I'm Mike with New Way Ag. Me and Jason are getting the trailer loaded up. We're gonna head out. Uh, we have a farmer that has about 50 acres of, uh, I think it's winter wheat that needs sprayed. We started the project the other day, wind picked up, blah, 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 couldn't get it done. Today, it's been raining a lot. It's a lot of rain in the forecast. We're gonna switch some generators around. Currently, we only have one generator on this trailer. We've been doing some swapping back and forth because of uh, trying different trailers and making sure everything's working. As you guys know, we're developing our own drone trailer. You guys can buy this on newwayag.com. Anyhow, Jay's got this generator ready to go. We're gonna throw it over here and we're gonna head out and uh, probably can't even squeeze through here, can we? Uh, we can try, ready? That fit. This cord here will take power up top so we can charge our uh, RC controllers. That way you never run out of power. So you got power up top. Obviously these generators right here goes up to the charge uh, station. That's sunken into the flight deck up top. So you just squat down, lift the battery, super easy. So some of this, like those bales sitting out there, we're gonna be spraying that field over there to just go up and around. Yeah, so you can see all the mud. You can tell that it's been, it's been raining a lot. That uh, boundary isn't right. That whole thing is screwed up, so don't even take off. I'm just marking this because this boundary wasn't right. I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to use the T40 to fly the boundary of the field manually. And once I get done with flying it manually, I will then see where the drone has flown and then I can build those uh, boundaries inside the controller and be super accurate. As I fly around the edge, you can see the trail of the drone that's being left. That tells me exactly where the boundary should be. Super easy. It takes a little bit longer, but then you have your boundaries right where you need them. As you can tell on the bottom left corner, you can see where my original boundary was built. So I would have been over the boundary. Flying the T40 right to the boundary edge gives you that trail and then you can uh, come back and build that boundary with inside of your controller. So now I'm starting to build the boundary uh, with the controller and just using the crosshair as a point of interest, but you can tell the field when I flew around it uh, where the boundary should be. Quick and easy. Well, we got him up in the up in the air. Had to change a boundary real quick, so we brought him back and uh, built, rebuilt those boundaries. But we're doing 5.2 gallons an acre, which isn't ideal, like for the drones, meaning they can't fly as fast, but they can totally still get it done. For like I said, for this farmer, he couldn't get into the fields; it's too wet. But at least this way, we can get it done with the drones. So they'll be uh, working on these fields for a little bit. But as you can see, they're laying it down nice. That is impressive.
All right, we just got this knocked out. It really wasn't that many acres. I think we're right around 50 acres that we got done. Like I told you, we were working on this project before and rain moved in and, and I was teaching a guy one day and so everything slowed down. But me and Jay wanted to get it knocked out real quick here this afternoon. So that's what we did. Sent the drones out there, got it done real quick. I don't know how long it took me exactly, but what I was telling you guys is we were doing 5.2 gallons an acre, which is a lot for a drone, so it flies slower. So you're not looking to cover tons of acres at that um, gallons per acre, but it can totally get it done. Like I told you earlier, this it rained a lot. It's been raining a ton and there's a lot more rain in the forecast, but we were able to get this on this. I think it's mostly winter wheat for this farmer. And so we got it in, got the drones in there, got it knocked out. Tell you what, flying off the top of this trailer. I did it last year, 11,000 acres. I worked off another trailer off the bottom working from the ground. When those drones fire up with that heavy load, you get a dust cloud that it's, it's just, I'm telling you guys, if you try this with the battery sunken into the floor like that, filling it from the top, me and Jay were able to like in and out, get those drones on the ground, get the battery swap, get them filled, get them back out there. It's just so clean. If you guys need a drone spray trailer, get a hold of us, newwayag.com. We're building a bunch of them right now. Uh, I think you're looking at about an eight week period right now from the time you order till you get it. But we're trying to produce them faster. We got a, an assembly line that we're working on getting together. These trailers were specifically built for the DJI T40s. If you guys want to get into it, get a hold of us and we'll see you guys on the next one.